Welcome to Knitting Daily, where yarn and fiber take center stage. Join knitting expert Uni Jang, crochet ace Kim Worker, spinning and weaving fiberista Liz Gibson, and favorite stitcher Shea Pendre. Get started with the world's most beautiful fibers and yarns. Meet trend-setting designers, improve or learn new skills, knit along with us, and make time for yarn every day. Today's You Asked It features a question from Becky in Texas, and she asks, can you curve a cable? This is a really good question, and it actually has two answers, kind of depending on the circumstances and what you want to do with your fabric. Becky's absolutely right in that cables generally have all the interest within themselves, and they pretty much follow the direction of the knitting from bottom to top. Um, if you've noticed, I've used a really smooth merino yarn here that really highlights the stitches, and if you pull the cables apart a little bit, you can really see that it's a perfectly straight sort of direction of knitting. One way that you can curve your cables or twist your cables is if you want to have a piece of knitting where the edges are still vertical or, or still straight and vertical, but you want the cable to move across the knitting, what you can do is treat the cable portion of the fabric as though it's a bias fabric. And what you can do and the way that you do that is by putting decreases all along one side and compensating increases all along the other. And I'll show you how, you how you do that. It's really simple. All you're gonna do is when you reach the area you're gonna decrease, and I'm just decreasing right up against the purl channel that separates my cable. You just make a decrease, and I happen to choose a left-leaning decrease or a slip-slip purl. You work across to the, you're going to work across until you finish your cable and the purl channel, and then you're going to immediately make an increase to compensate for the decrease we just made. I'm going to make a make one increase by lifting up the purl bar, or lifting up the bar in between these two stitches, loosening it up a little bit, and then knitting into the front of it to twist it as I knit which creates a nice increase right there. Now on this swatch, I've been increasing and decreasing. I've been doing the shaping on every right side row, which creates about a 45 degree angle. But you can vary the angle at which your cable slants across your fabric by increasing and decreasing either more frequently or less frequently. Your other option is for when you want to actually curve your fabric along with your cable, like in this swatch and like in this gorgeous vest where the cabled fronts actually curve around and become the cardigan fronts as well. This is done using short rows and what I've done here is actually outlined one repeat of short rows for you and you can see that for every one twist on the left side of the fabric you've got one, two, three, four twists on the right side of the fabric. Short rows are exactly what they sound like, just partial rows where you where you turn the work halfway through the fabric or at any point during the fa or at any point in the fabric which just creates more width on one side than the other. It's a little bit easier to see on this swatch where I've actually worked the short rib portions in a different color. The orange areas are areas where I've actually worked all the way across the fabric and the pink areas are these sort of wedges of extra fabric. So I'm going to actually show you how to work a short row. And on the stockinette stitch swatch, it's even easier to see. You can see that I've marked the areas where I'm going to turn the work. And I'm just going to work up to this first one here. Slip the marker. And then I'm just going to wrap that stitch so that I don't get a hole. I'm going to slip it to the right needle, bring the yarn to the front, slip it back to the left needle, bring the yarn to the back, slip the marker, and then turn the work and just work back as normal. On the next right side row that you'll be working all the way across the fabric, you just hide these loops by simply knitting them together with their base stitches. So hope that answered your question. This is a great technique that looks a lot more complicated than it is. Knitting daily. Make time for yarn every day. Projects, patterns, ideas, and techniques from today's show to help you make time for yarn every day can be found on the web at knittingdailytv.com.